All right, guys. I want to give you guys a quick look at the um, Gemtech GM45. I received this from Silencer Shop, so I get some testing in and um, see how it does compared to some of the other um, suppressors I've shot recently. Um, so, comes in standard shipping, I guess, box. When you when you buy this, you'll get a box and has some uh, target information. And, um, also comes with a little a small case, which is normal for majority suppressors. Comes in one of these little pouches, and you have your suppressor. So, this suppressor, when when you compare it to other suppressors on the market, especially 45 cans, um, it's about seven, a little bit less than seven and a half inches with the piston installed. And side by side with a lot of the 45 cans, that's pretty small, and for, especially for it not being a K model. So, you're getting a great sound reduction. Um, compared to the full size, um, compared to the full size cans, and when, when, when you look at it size wise, compared to K cans, it's almost about the size of a K can. So you're getting like the best of both world, both worlds, and I think that's attributed to their G core construction, which is a monocore design. So you don't have to fool with a lot of baffles and stacking baffles in certain orientations to uh, reassemble and clean this 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 can right here. So I'll give you a quick look at the inside and show you how uh, it's set up. So there's two points. The, the first section here releases the sleeve and the second slip section here releases the piston from right here. So you have, you see right there, there's two separations. So we'll take the first part out and you see the monocore or the G-core design here, um, which is made of 7075 steel. And this right here is I guess optimally reduces weight and gives you the best sound reduction for the size of this can. Further into it, you have the piston. Comes with one piston. Standard size uh, piston for 45 cans here in the US. Um, the only thing about these pistons, they're kind of pricey. So if you gotta buy a couple more pistons for your guns, uh, just be aware. And that's it, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Like I said, it, cleaning this is no problem. You get a brush in here and some uh, solvent, and you clean it right up and back. And you go back to shooting. I would recommend using some kind of grease, maybe some white lithium or anti-seize grease, or grease or whatever in here, um, just to make sure that uh, it doesn't seize up on you when you try to clean it or in between shooting. Rear some real quick for you. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment. If you want to see particular cans on the channel, let me know. I'll see if I can get it in. Um, I got a couple of videos coming up. Make sure you stay tuned.